The new World Triathlon Championship Series kicked off where last year's had finished so dramatically. Abu Dhabi, capital of the UAE. A full and extended field of 60 women lined up at the start. Prince Georgia Taylor-Brown beaten narrowly to the world title here by Flora Duffy in November, the red-hot favourite in the Bermudians' absence. And it was Sophie Coldwell of Great Britain who was first away in the water. Just a 750 metre swim in this sprint race. Victoria Lopez and Summer Rappaport also showing up well in the water. And at this stage, Taylor Brown was more than half a minute adrift. Very surprising. She's normally right in the mix at this stage. Summer Rappaport, who changed coaches in the close season, had exactly the kind of swim that she would have wanted. And six women got away. Rappaport, Meisner, Spivey, Lopez, Colwell, and Beth Potter. So two Brits, two Americans, a German and a Brazilian at the front. And after the first lap, they were 24 seconds clear of the chasing group. And that pack just really couldn't make any impression. There were probably too many women in it to seriously reduce their arrears. And on the final lap, as they came in to T2, the gap was not far shy of a minute. Surely too much to make up over just 5,000 metres. So it was all going to come down to a run between the six. That was soon reduced to five with uh, Lopez dropping off the back. Chasing Pat couldn't really make an impression on the leaders. All the question of who would make the first move. In the end, it was Beth Potter on the first lap. Meanwhile, Spivey and Rappaport having a personal battle for the bronze, it appeared. Caldwell, the only woman who could go with Beth Potter. And as they came to take the bell, those two were well clear of Spivey, who would drop Rappaport. Potter waits again on the second lap, but this time her opponent couldn't respond. Her first ever win at this level for Ben Potter. You could see exactly how much it meant to her. Second place was Caldwell's best ever in a World Triathlon Championship Series event. And Taylor Spivey's third, her first medal for 18 months at this level. Well, let's give you a full look at the top ten. Rappaport finishing in fourth. Three Germans in the top ten, and I catch a result too for Emma Lombardi, the French woman, in eighth. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a bit of an unknown first race out of the season, but like, I feel like I've been going well in training, and um, Johnny texted me, I think it was this morning or last night, and he said, you're going to win, and I... <laughs> Johnny Brownlee. <laughs> I didn't quite believe it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just do my best. I'll... <laughs> so, yeah, um, but I've been yeah, working really hard, like, not only on my, like, physical side this winter, but also um, just, like, mental. So I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel much more positive and calm and uh, relaxed when into racing and, you know, just more aggressive. <laughs> They can see what it meant to Spivey to be back on the podium. Montreal in 2021, the last time she had a medal round. Sophie her neck. Caldwell. Sophie Caldwell, who only decided very late to actually enter the race. In the end, returning back to the United Kingdom with a silver medal. But Potter, her first gold at the age of 31, the former distance runner, putting down a real marker for the season. Three very happy women on that podium. Battle will be rejoined in Yokohama in the middle of May. Many congratulations, ladies and gentlemen.